Hello, this is Ricardo, and I'm playing Battlestar Galactica Deadlock that was released on the 31st of August. Uh, now it's in full release. We expect to see full support and all the rest of the good stuff that comes with a game that's in mass production and mass release. I'm a huge fan of the original series and the reimagined series that finished several years ago. And this is what that, this game is based on, sort of a merge of the two. It's taken before the events of the second attack of the colonies. And um, we expect to see some old favourites. So let's cut to the cinematic now and then get into the first tutorial gameplay. The R Ace in the hole, the largest, most powerful battle stars ever created. Each of the 12 colonies were promised one in return for signing the Articles of Colonization. First, Galactica was Caprica's crowning glory. It went missing two weeks after deployment. Athena, the fifth ship to be completed, belongs to Pycon. We were days away from delivering it when we heard the news. Icon's capital cities were devastated by silent assault fleets. Among them, our own colonial fleet headquarters. There was no chance to intervene. Command of Colonial Fleet has fallen to Rear Admiral Kane. Our mobile shipyard, Daedalus, has become the ad hoc fleet headquarters. As Kane's XO aboard Daedalus, you have been promoted to Operations Commander of the entire Colonial Fleet. Kane intends immediate retaliation for the attack on Python. The War Room awaits your arrival, Commander. Ooh, so here we are, going up the steps. To the main map overview. Almost ready to Ooh, deliver. great. Okay. But Sinan says it can't make an independent jump until the fuel lines are stabilized. So we're going to engage Kane's the first mission. Kane's orders jump Daedalus to Pycon with the Battlestar Athena attached ASAP. That means we, we have go to clear the scouts here or bit. risk telegraphing our movements to the entire Cylon fleet. I'll prep the deck crews for the jump. Right, proceed. We're going. Sisters. Proceed. Right, nice picture of the Galactica. Four Vipers. I'm sure we're going to get bored of that screen. known in this war, Commander. I trust oh, and here we are, and here's the game. This is, and I've stayed away from the beta because I didn't want to spoil it by, by playing a game that wasn't really finished. So we can move our units, as they've been saying, as Agathon's been saying, uh, with the mouse button, up, down, commands. left and right. The up and down is the important bit as well. Very important to think three-dimensionally with this game. Uh, to put your ship on a sort of level or plane as your enemy. So we've got an icon. And here comes um, the Cylon Corvette. Our ships have opened up directly at it because we pointed them in the right direction. And this is turn-based as well. And some people might think this is a bit like micromanagement. Well, I suppose it is really. But then again, for a, you know, for a strategy game, a Battlestar strategy game, where you're going to be commanding huge fleets. I know the fleets are small at the moment. Um, you know. It's really going to come into itself. I really do think it's, it's got really good potential, this game. So we're engaging our turret, turrets. The turrets are going to open up with focus fire on that corvette. And we're going to end our turn. So we've got him in a, a cross turret fire manoeuvre. It's hardly an Adama maneuver, is it really? But there you go. It, it worked. He's flown straight through the middle of us. And another one is turned up. Another corvette. So these are called talons. Dreadus IFF confirms the contact and seems the Cylon Corvette. to be the initial mainstay of the Cylon fleet, which is the first things we're engaging with anyway. So I'm turning one of my Talons off to the left now, no, Talons, Manticores, off to the left now to engage that Talon. Uh, I'm going to swing the other one round as well. Yes, Commander. And what we're going to do is we're going to select a Cylon, Cylon to get a little bit of information. 
Focus your turrets on one side to punch There's all that armor cane. And oh, it won't stand up to fire. Wear it down on a side and then get through the armor. Useful Very good. The only problem with that is you've actually got to wear it down on one side. Um, and I'm playing this in lieutenant mode. This is the easiest mode. Just try and get, get to grips with things. Of course, this game has a multiplayer and has a skirmish mode. And I'll have a go at that in, in future videos. So let's end that turn and see what happens. Missiles incoming. So you've got one. I'm letting loose the missiles on from the manticore on the right and the one on the left. I'm gonna lay in some missiles for him as well. Commander, your ships don't seem let's to move, be swing round to intercept. They should. Uh, they may have Bring the plane down so we're about level so our guns can engage correctly at him. Tell the engineer. We're gonna repair some subsystems. This engineering guy. Can. Yeah. I'll see to their comprehensive repair once you've finished with your engagement. He's a bit of a condescender. So everyone's going to get repaired. That's brilliant. Repairing, repairing, repairing. End that turn. Move him around a little bit. Keep him engaged. Great. He's targeting him. Okay. Just make sure. Focus fire. We want him to get it full barrels. Right, okay, end turn. So whereas each turn seems to take a little bit of... At the end, you are offered an action replay, which seems good, and then you've got to replay the turn as well. So for initial engagement this is quite good to learn so pressing m gives you an overview of the battlefield and the surrounding area and a sort of a dreadus sort of aspect which is nice and it looks like we have indeed destroyed one of those talons so our manticore at least has done something right so we can swing that one round now um, it, and engage the remaining one And then swing the one that's right close to it. Got to be careful not to run into it as well. Because you can collide with the ships. And at the expense of your ship, you probably will destroy one of a, of a similar size. Or if not, give it a hell of a lot of damage. Um, I did this on an earlier playthrough. Couldn't work out where, where my Manticore went. Um, <laughs> truth of the matter is I ran it into somebody. Okay, so there we are. We're gonna we're gonna drop that plane down so we're level with him. Same with this one. Get him right down on the same level. And of course, if it goes red, you're gonna have a collision. Can't shoot any missiles yet. Make sure our focus fire is on. That manticore end turn. There we go. So we're engaging hits, and they're not, not the most accurate of cats, I have to say. And hopefully now we'll be able to engage with some missiles, with some heavier weaponry. So this is one of, my, one of the first goes, two or three goes I've had of this, really. So I'm still learning, so if it looks like it's a bit clunky, that's probably down to me and not the game. Uh, like with any new game, there's going to be a learning curve, you know? So, I mean... Getting the hang of this I thought was quite easy. It's the first tutorial. The other tutorials that will follow in other videos as well that I've done. Um, do bring up some of the more advanced options that you can do with your ship. But this is doing a good job of covering you know, a lot of it so far. So here we go. Yeah. Ooh, missiles. Missiles on their way. That's going to be his biscuits now, I reckon. So they're firing missiles. We're firing missiles. He's gone. But he managed to get his missiles off at our manticore. Ah, well there you are. So that's the Cylon Threat Neutralized. Let's view the replay. The and I'll be like quiet through this. Well, no, I won't be quiet through this. Because the graphics behind that. Nebula. Nice star field. I mean, the graphics on the main Daedalus starport are very good as well. You know, that's, that, that's great. I haven't a really good look at those yet. I've been so excited to get in here and play the game. That's our first engagement here because someone jumps in, shooting his missiles, firing off his guns. Out, oh, we've taken some hits. Big return of fire. So, whereas 
the entire micromanagement, the engagement took, what, eight minutes. This entire replay of what happens in real time is probably going to take less than one and a half to two, I would say. Because here we are, look, we're engaging the second one now. The manticore's turning around, just, as I said, just recently. We'll open up now with some missiles. He's on, on the run. There's our missiles going, there's his missiles going. He's gone. And that's the end of the first tutorial mission. I've been Ricardo on Ricardo's gaming channel. This has been Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. That came out today. Very excited. Please look out for more videos in the series.